Now we will see how we can integrate the IDs via Section 50 in our RTUs with Secam Device Manager. Continuing with our example, we have here one ID with one IP address and we want to configure it in the RTU. So what do we need to consider? Normally, the standard way of importing signals of a Section 50 server into the system would be through a configuration file, which could be a CID, IID, or an SED file. This file contains all the mapping and communication requirements of this 650 server. This device, we need to import it in a protocol element of the RTU that has been equipped with the communication protocol 650. So for this example, we will use the pre one, protocol element one for that. So let's go to CCAM device manager. And first we will check that actually in the RTU engineering, we have in the protocol one, the ET85 firmware, which is actually for 6250. So first step has been done. Next. In this case, we will not do anything on the settings, at least yet. We will go directly to a box in the RTU, which is called IC62850. Here you will see that there are two boxes, one for 6050 client and one for 6050 server. This, the same firmware work for both modes. I will use in this case the RTU as a 6050 client. So we click on there. There you will see some boxes to check all what has been already configured. But most important is on the corner, you will see one signal, one uh, box with uh, one arrow going in. And uh, you read, if you hover on top, it says import 650 client data from an SCL file. So we mark that. Then we must browse to where we have the configuration file of the relay that we want to import. We have the device here. I just confirm. Secam Device Manager reads this file and then it will show me the devices that has found that are not in my configuration yet. There is one here. It is telling me which is the ID name. It is telling me that it's a new device the IP address it has, the access point that it will create, the type of device it is. I could check here if you want more details of this device, which type of reporting or data sets it possess. Now, I can decide if I want to import this device, so I mark it here. Once I do it, I have also the possibility to define a station number for this device. Remember when I mentioned with Modbus that we have internal addresses for every protocol element from 0 to 99. So here I can select from 0 to 99 stations. Let's take the first one, 0. Once we have done that, I just select next. Next step, SICAM Device Manager is reading all the information from these devices that I marked in the previous step and is offering me them to me, all that are compatible with the RTU. Of course, we don't need all the information of the device. It would be too much. Basically, it would be like filling of a thing that we don't need. So I, what I recommend is always to select all and then we will try to look for the information that we need to have, or that we want to have. How you can do it? You can either try to look individually here for the information you want, but I will take the opportunity to show you some really nice features we have in Secam Device Manager to have to make the filtering and looking for information a uh, real pleasure. It is really simple. Um, I will first apply a filter. You need to know a little bit about 6050, you know. For example, if we want to include information about the status of circuit breaker or disconnectors, you know that these are normally located in a logical device of this 
with this te text CSWI. So I apply this so-called fixed text. This filter will filter information that on any column has this text. So on one text uh, it is showing me the signals of the, the circuit breaker block position of if it is uh, for local remote position it, this is the command this is the indication so and also for q1 and q8 i will show you another qu quite useful tool for filtering it's called the flash filter let's say i want to concentrate first in the positions of the switching devices so I know the positions and all in post.stval. Good, so I mark this in the column signal name or in the column system if it address. I select where, doesn't matter. And then I will press this button, flash filter. This button then will filter on the already selected filtered information, only the information in the signal name column that has the text that I had highlighted. So I have now three positions of three switching devices, Q0, Q1, Q8. I can mark them all. Now I want to continue looking for more information, so I will remove the flash filter, reset flash filter. Now I'm back where I, wa where I was. Now I want the commands, so I will select. I know that all the commands have pause, CTL val, flash filter, mark them. Now I remove flash filter. Now I want to have maybe some protection information about this device. So I will change the fix filter and I know that all the pickups, for example, have uh, the STR general. So I can see for all these different protection functions the pickup and the operation has I will look for general okay general and all have the op so I can apply here flash filter I can this is the trip I can remove this and now I want the measurements. So I want, I know that normally three phase measurements are located in the logical device MMXUI1. You need to know a little bit about C2050. And then I know that the floating point measurements that I want to have always end up in dot CVAL dot magnitude dot floating point. So I apply the flash filter and I have already here the current neutral ABC, the voltages phase phase ABBCCA, the voltages ABC for example. You can continue doing like this and looking for all the information that you need. When you are done with your filtering you just continue. Now you get a summary of the information that you are going to import. This is the 6050 address. This is the name that the RTU will asset autom assign automatically. You can change it here if you are not happy with it or you can leave it. And you can always edit this later in Excel, no problem. You can also change the addresses that are offered by you uh, for you uh, in advance. Then I can say next. Summary what it will do. File successfully imported. So now we can check here. For example, it has created, imported. Uh, there are all the reports that were available in the RTU. The signals that have been imported. I can see them all here. I can, if I go here home and go to signals, I will go that for the this relay, all the signals have been created. I can check them also in parameter, all configured, 
automatically. I didn't have to do it like with Modbus when I had to do everything by hand. And also quite important, if you go home here and go to RTU settings, you will see that for this protocol element one with 650, in the connection definition, I have already defined the line for this relay, indicating that the mode of the RTU for this device is a client. The RTU will be a client for this. And in the topology, you also find the one line for this connection. You will also see that automatically it's selected control direction because the RTU is client. The only missing thing that you should configure by hand would be the region and component number. So let's say this would be following my recommendation from last time, region one and component zero. And that's it, we can just save it and the ID has been successfully imported in Secant Device Manager with the uh, for 6050.